Hi, welcome. Simon here and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to talk about this error message that I got. Default boot device missing or boot fail. Insert recovery media and hit any key. Then select boot manager to choose a new boot device or to boot recovery media. If you're getting this error message like I do, there's going to be one or two things happen to your computer. One, that your Windows may have corrupted. Your Windows 11 or Windows 10 may have corrupted, therefore you're getting this error message. The second option is the hard drive has gone bad, meaning that your M.2, this is your M.2 NVMe SSD drive, that the hard drive maybe have broken, has gone bad, therefore it's going to say boot device missing. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to replace a brand new M.2 drive and then just a verbal walkthrough on how to install the Windows back to the new hard drive. I wouldn't be showing you step by step on how to do the installation because it's very straightforward. All you have to do is to buy this USB installer. This is a Windows USB installer. You buy them through Amazon stuck it in and you do the window installation very straightforward and simple all you have to do is just to change out the m.2 uh, ssd drive all right let's go ahead and get started first thing i like to do is to power off the computer by pressing the power button press and hold the power button remove the uh, remove the uh, adapter if you have been plugged in turn it around and get yourself a phillips screwdriver I'll be removing the two screws here. The top left and the top right screws are much longer compared to the rest of other screws. That is the middle screw on the left, I mean on the right, and this is the middle screw on the left. There are four screws here at the very bottom and all the four screws are a lot shorter. Once you have removed all the four screws, put it on the side. Do not forget there are two more screws here in the very front, the very top here. You need to remove them. Once you have removed that, Okay, get yourself a plastic prying tool. What you want to do is go underneath this line here in between that base. See if I can get it. Okay. And then just slide it away from your body. So slide it out to that direction. And there are a couple more screws you need to remove. Definitely two of them right here in the middle. The two screws are much longer, so go ahead and remove the two screws. And also the other two here in the top right corner and the top left corner here. Once you have removed the two screws, now you can separate the, uh, the back cover here. So what I'm gonna do is using a metal prying tool I'll be sticking in between that plastic corner right there just to get enough room to get my fingernail get in underneath and I'll be using a plastic prying tool to kind of run along the plastic to separate them. Okay, once you have separated that plastic you can remove the entire back cover just like that. Now, the, uh, the next step I like to do is to talk about disconnecting the battery. So let me show it to you here. All you have to do is to slide the battery down towards your body. So this is how the battery connector looks like at the very beginning, just like that. Okay, and what you want to do is to slide the connector down towards your body. Alright, just push this black connector down towards your body, that's how you disconnect the battery. Next step is to 
identify your hard drive so this is the m.2 drive and because the boot device is missing then more likely the m.2 drive is, has gone bad uh, your, your one could be here or my one could be here doesn't matter there are two slots first and second first slot and second slot all right so let's just say your hard drive is bad what you want to do is go ahead and get a Phillips screwdriver remove that at 45 degree angle slide it towards the body and this is a bad hard drive you can put it on the side here now what you want to do is get yourself a, a new M.2 drive and go ahead and insert into the connector like so and have the screw to go back in it okay now if you want you can actually insert um, a, a secondary if you like to um, but if not then just leave it as is now once you have done with that process the next step is to go ahead and putting everything back together you just want to uh, put the back cover like such okay and then make sure the two screws here on the top right and top left corner have the screw that goes in first and the two screws right in the middle here now I assume that you know how to put everything back together in just a reverse process and all you have to do is to slide this thing back in together like such and then the remaining all the screws together now I'm just gonna walk you through the step what you're gonna expect gonna happen the next thing when you turn on the computer definitely that the computer is not going to work because there's no windows at all in that new hard drive right this is the broken drive the one that I just installed here is a new drive that new drive does not have any data or any windows so what you want to do is go ahead and buy yourself this window 10 or windows 11 usb installer file stuck it into a computer and start in installing the windows and that should be it now of course you're going to do the once you install the windows the next step of course you need to have is the driver you can go to lenovo website by googling Lenovo driver support and go and look for the model number and as well as the serial number whatever you need to do look it up and download all the drivers okay once you have done with that pretty much that's all you have to do and you have a brand new hard drive with a brand new windows in it now if you're gonna ask me what happened to my data on this old and broken m.2 drive you might want to go to um, amazon and buy one of these usb m.2 adapter this m.2 adapter may sometimes may not all the time may sometimes allow you to recover the data so assuming that you uh, purchase one of these usb adapter after finishing installing your windows what you can do is they act like a usb thumb drive you have to plug it on the side of your computer like such okay you plug it in and you may able to recover the data hopefully that adapter able to see your data and then you can start recovering it into your computer so um, it is not that expensive this usb adapter probably cost me about 25 dollars to 30 dollars or so uh, you might want to give it a try to recover the data if you have important stuff in that broken hard drive now again uh, the next step is if you're interested to do the cloning um, I make a separate video on how to clone it and to do the cloning you also need to have this USB adapter all right I just want to uh, summarize the the entire video here um, again if you're not sure where to buy the hard drive please check the link down description below I'll direct you to either Amazon or eBay where you can buy the um, M.2 drive or the adapter or the USB installer file. Alright, and if you do find this video is helpful, please again smash the like button for me 
I uh, really appreciate you for doing that and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Okay, any question comment down below. I do answer this question. Until next time, take care and bye now.